Hi, and welcome back. Look what I just picked up. The DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Combo. This is gonna be in my pocket on my next trip. We're gonna run through three things, unboxing, settings, and test record. Just a disclaimer, DJI is not a sponsor of this video. And this is just me going over some of the features that I think is really helpful for me uh, when I'm traveling. I heard this is really neat uh, and um, it has uh, some great professional features on it and we're going to check it out. So let's jump right in. DJI Osmo Pocket 3 Creator Kit. So the Creator Kit which cost $669 on Amazon at the time of this video includes these accessories. So this is the protective case in which the camera fits. It has a slot for the wide angle lens and, and an ND filter. The ND filter is sold separately. This is the exciting part. And there's the Pocket 3. Everything in this bag is part of the Creator Kit. The camera is very light and easy to maneuver. This thing is so small, perfect for when traveling and vlogging. And of course the wireless mic. This mic is a key selling point for this product. Actually it is one of the reasons why I decided to get this baby. So this is the battery. Uh, that it, the kit comes with it's a 950 milliamp battery I mean you can charge your camera up in 30 minutes with this definitely need all the extra power I can get so this is the tripod really small comes in handy when you have to shoot b-rolls you can place it uh, in a standalone position when you're uh, shooting solo really neat so we have here the USB-C cable for charging the camera and the battery the uh, portable battery this is the extra handle not to be confused with the battery uh, I don't really see the need for this I mean if you have the battery you can use it as a handle but anyways, it has a USB-C port so you can charge your camera directly when it's attached. Here we have the dead cat and the camera strap. Yep, <laughs> they called it a dead cat. It's just used as a wind reducer for the microphone when you're shooting outside, which comes in pretty handy. Wow, this is small, tiny. This is the wide angle clip on lens. It really comes in handy when you need uh, more field of view in the background. It just, uh, it's magnetized so it just clips onto the lens. It comes in handy when you know you need a little more real estate in the back. This must be the magnet clip for the mic. The magnet comes in handy to um, help clip the, uh, the microphone onto your clothes. Um, in places where you know the, the the clip won't work so you can use the magnet uh, pretty neat and of course a nice compact travel case well done DJI so let's assemble this baby and take it for a walk around the neighborhood The wide angle lens stores right in the protective case here and the battery just connects under here. Okay, battery's in. Now let's screw the tripod in and secure the camera into the protective case. The wireless mic will connect via Bluetooth once the camera is turned on. And let's not forget the magnetic clip which sticks right here. 
So before we start recording, let's run through a quick overview of the settings. You would get to these settings by swiping down to enter the custom mode. Swipe up to enter video settings like speed and resolution. And from the left to right for pro and auto settings. So let's go through some of the settings I use. This one here is screen rotate and capture. I like to keep this off. If this is set to on, the camera will start recording automatically when the screen is flipped. I don't want that. A great feature of this camera is that it can record in vertical by just flipping the screen. Select the arrow icon with the screen here. So when you flip the screen to vertical position, the video format will also flip to vertical. Basically, the format will match the position of the screen. This is good for when shooting reels or shorts. Okay, let's go to the video settings. I usually use the manual settings, and of course you can use the auto function. In auto function, the camera will automatically adjust the settings. Some people prefer auto settings and that's fine. This camera does a fabulous job in auto. I'm not going to go into the pro settings. That's another video. If you'd like to see a Pocket 3 Pro settings video, let me know in the comments. One other thing, for me, I make sure all my recording settings are in 4K, 24 or 25 frames per second, depending on which part of the world you live in. I prefer to shoot in 4K, 24 here in the US. So let's take the camera for a test run around the neighborhood. So that's it. Thank you for sticking with me on this video. I think this camera is a wonderful uh, companion for travelers and vloggers. Versatile and compact. Lots of professional features. It is incredibly small and lightweight, making it perfect for capturing smooth, stable footage on the go. Less than 119 grams. That's less than half a pound. See you all in the next video. Take care.